Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out a DPSI Link Advanced Web Interface. If you are into controls and you have a lot of this uh, system into your factory or whatever you're working for, or working with or things like that, you will definitely want to uh, watch this video because if you don't know already, the web interface is basically you are using the IP address of the actual uh, link uh, uh, device itself uh, where you have and you are able to, and if it's got built-in web interface you are allowed to uh, you are able to uh, connect uh, to that unit with just using your Ethernet browser so that's what you're gonna be checking out today it's a really really cool uh, function for this device because if you are uh, using uh, yeah, within a factory you can literally as long as you are uh, connected within within that local network your whatever you are your phone or your uh, ipad or whatever and without opening the panel you want to have a look at it, which we where is the problem going on within your network type in your uh, uh, ip address of the unit which we're going to show in a minute where it is and it will take you to that web page and we're going to check out in a minute what uh, what can you find in that web page what you can do what you can't not do it is really cool so that's what we're going to do in today so yeah so all the later videos we've done quite a lot of these days si networkers already so do check out all the playlists that is uh, been uh, created for this type for the s1200 series plc because we are using s1200 series plc within these setups but we are going to be using 1500 ones and 300 series in a minute soon very soon so uh do check out previous videos so without further ado let's get started <music> Alrighty, so before we get started, as I said, let's quickly have a look where to find our IP address. So do make sure for you to be able for this guy to be uh, communicating via uh, the network itself, uh, I mean for, for with the browser, you need to make sure that Ethernet is connected to uh, the unit itself, which says LAN port in here. So that will allow uh, you to uh, get access to this via the browser. So from there on, if you click OK, then we go into the next one, which is Ethernet. And then go to IP settings. In an IP settings, as you can see, this is where you can find our IP address. In my case, it is 192.168.2 and 200. That two in there indicates your subnet. So if you're using your laptop and or uh, or uh, the phone, if your the phone needs to be connected wirelessly and or uh, iPad wirelessly, do make sure that uh, your iPad and everything, all, all the units are sitting within with whichever you are using to uh, access uh, this uh, DP link. Uh, make sure that the subnet is equal to that one in here. So 192.168, these three, uh, these three sections should be the same. So uh, I haven't said that, so let's go and have a look at it, how to connect to it. Righty, there we are. So let's load up our Google. I'm going to be using Google Chrome for this one. I agree, what the hell is that about? So uh, from there on, let's type in our uh, IP address, which is 192192. 168.1 no dot two dot two hundred that's the IP address we had and by clicking on it it will take you straight to the web interface that is within that unit within this password uh, within this uh, uh, page so from there on uh, without logging in there's not much you can do but you you can you can do some monitoring you can look at things around in there a lot of the stuff I don't usually uh, look at at all. So you can see the internet status, port statistics, profit, profit bars, and then uh, the main one you be uh, you you most likely gonna want to do is go quickly have a look at it on your ASI line. As you can see in here, if you watch the last three videos, we have uh, set up a unit on one, two, and three. So and you can find out a bit of information there. You can see how the if the bits are changing or not and things like that. You can see it all in here. There's a configuration. Okay, data. A lot of this is uh, blanked out. So again, out, uh, this is just a quick overview of what you can do in there. So uh, and address changes in here again. And, uh, and to log in, uh, to log in, all you need to do uh, it is from default. This can be changed, and if the if this system has been set up to be online, most likely these passwords will have been changed. But if it is from new, it's only admin and admin, admin and admin and once you do the admin as you can see oh did i interesting admin admin 
Oh, here we go. Well, I must have mis mistyped something. Here we go. So admin, admin for for the name and the password. And from there on, obviously, you can start changing things if you want to and things like that. So uh, if you want to uh, have a look a bit more in detail, what's going on in here, config for configuration. We're not going to go through all this. I'll leave it to you. Mainly, you would use this for monitoring to have a look at what is going on rather than, you know, start messing around with your uh, with, with, with the system itself. But there we go. So you can have a look at it. All the devices are, are there. All function work. No errors. So let's quickly have a look what happens if I... Uh, uh, disconnect one of the devices and here we are so disconnected one of the devices as you can see it now says three is missing so if you click on it uh, so i think it should be there's still in uh, errors as well as so here we go missing slave frame 33 32.66 percent so third of it is missing so uh so uh and uh what i was going to see in here Generally, you will allow luckily, right, this is missing, this is what I'm going after. So, uh, try and find out. There's usually be some form of map where everything is located within the machine, and you should be able to find it quite easily. So, here we go. So, that's how you would uh, use a web interface. And you can do that without even opening the control panel, just by using your phone or your tablet. Log in, have a look at it. Not log even log in, just you don't even have to be logged in to be able to see that. So, uh, to... to if you only, you need to be logged in when you want to change things. And if you don't want to change things, don't even bother logging in. So, uh, so yeah, this is where you will be checking out your uh, uh, ASI network. So, and uh, some other things, let's have a look at it in here for the configuration. And the one thing I do want to uh, point out, if you go into Ethernet, as you can see in here, there's things called events configuration. So I call warm restart, Ethernet link status, uh, errors, power supply, profit bus, ASL line, system error. So you can have all of this being sent to your phone, to your email address. And this is where you can set up your email. And this email, unfortunately, has to be within the local network server. So we will send the email to the server and server will send it to your whatever email address you, you, want, you want these things to be sent. So it's really cool functionality and cool thing to have if you want to be woken up in the middle of the night or having a nice dinner somewhere in a restaurant saying uh oh the system's down something's wrong then this email's for you if you don't want this email's not for you so yeah this is where you can set up emails being sent to you to uh, let you know where the problem is and it will send you uh what problem what the, what errors it is as well from here, so what you can do is, uh, where is the, you can do the reset if you want, completely kill the whole thing, and see, reset the factory settings if you want to, save and download, uh, and uh, this is where you would change your password, all password obviously, be admin. this is where you add your new password, and then it displays settings, as you can see, I have SF, it's a bus problem, and ASI link, ASI line, as you can see, my bus problem is within ASI. Again, for click uh, for click uh, diagnostics, fantastic. You can quickly have a look at what's going on with your system. Uh, then it's a diagnostic part of fault. Uh, as you can see, fault state a uh, fault, and it says ASI error. It doesn't say what it is because uh, this I think this would be sent to your this this would be sent to your email here right there. It won't tell you what it is, but it says you uh, ASI fault. All right, so this is what's going to be sent to you. So, uh, so from there on, is there's your C plug, so you can uh, do your uh, the memory plug, uh, the memory thing. Uh, actually, I actually have one. Uh, I'll probably show it in the next video. So, and then so what is the and then is the internet where information on internet, but things like that. So that, ladies and gentlemen, the main one you'll be clicking on here. I'm gonna look at it, where the problem it is with your SI. Let's quickly plug that back in. There we go, I'll plug them back in and it'll automatically update the system saying everything is okay now. So that, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully is helping you out, giving you a good understanding of what the, the, the first thing is to actually to understand that, that, system, that this kind of web page exists. So it does, as you can see. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool. I think it's really cool to uh, cool cool uh, uh, gadget to have and to, to be able to quickly diagnose. The and I know the bigger machines, a lot of the big machines, especially the German machines, and uh, the do use the ASI networks and it's fantastic. This is a fantastic tool because guys, sometimes one of the ASI uh, units goes down and the whole network is all blinking red and uh, I call the red of death. So, uh, and uh, having this 
as are your helping unit it would be fun it, it is a, a really cool thing to have and that ladies and gentlemen will do for this video hopefully it helps you out understand and then uh, you are well your way uh, starting using this so uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like the video don't forget to like and yes thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video